They came into Duluth, they expected to see the Tucker Hibbert show. They thought he was gonna come in, blow everybody away, blow the doors off him. He barely won. Two less laps and he would have been sitting in second or third on the podium. And then when we got into the rap, lap traffic, that hurt. Ross looked smoother than Tucker did. Way smoother. But hey, like we said before, he's beatable now. Yeah. And he knows it. Tucker had to work for these wins and literally had to fight his way. But when Tucker threw the switch, Tucker came forward and got to the front. Yeah, I was definitely pushing hard. I was pushing past my comfort zone. I, I hate racing that way. That's not my style, but um, I, had to, I had to do it. You know, I like to win a little easier than that. It was a, it was a challenge, definitely, and, and I worked hard, and I'm happy about how it went. Ross Martin performed in Duluth. Ross just needs to keep on track. All it takes is one little stumble by Tucker, and Ross is right there. Last year, Ross Martin won a championship, but there is an asterisk next to it. Tucker Hibbert was only here half a season. Since 2003, I haven't uh, raced full, full seasons of snowcross. I've really uh, split my time between racing snowcross and, and motocross and supercross. I don't think that there's anybody that's in better shape than you, do you? I mean, it sure doesn't look like it. You don't come off breathing hard. Ross Martin coming in this year. He is the current points champion from last year. But he's coming in as a points champion being an underdog. I think there's definitely a lot of fans out there that think uh, maybe I will be the second place guy, but in my opinion, that's not gonna happen. Ross is definitely strong. He's stronger this year than I think he has been in the past. But he has he has a lot of weaknesses and, and flaws as well. I am going to be out there. I am going to be going for the win. And I think it's going to be a battle to the end. And I feel like this year more than ever, I just need to prove that. And I think it's going to be good racing. In heat one, two familiar rivals make their way to the line. Number 837, Ross Martin. And number 68, Tucker Hibbert. Also pulling up to the line is veteran rider Malinowski, followed by Tim Tremblay and rookie Logan Christian. Right out of her gate, Hibbert and Malinowski battle for the hole shot. Hibbert takes the lead. In turn two, Malinowski surges ahead. Tremblay moves past Hibbert for second, and Ross Martin falls back into fourth. Meanwhile, pro rookie Logan Christian trails at the back of the pack. Malinowski separates himself farther from the pack. Tremblay inches closer to Malinowski for first. sneaks up behind Tremblay. A three-way battle for first begins. Malinowski surges ahead. Meanwhile, Ross Martin sits in a comfortable fourth place. With one lap to go, Malinowski holds on to the lead. Yeah. 
As the checkered flag flies, veteran rider Robbie Malinowski takes his first win of the season, as well as a spot in the final. As for rookie Logan Christian, he'll have to prove himself in the LCQ in order to make it to the final. Inside the Shearing Speed Sports trailer, Malinowski celebrates his mini victory with team owner Steve Shearing. That's a nice run, you rock. You got a new nickname out there too. Rock and Robbie. <laughs> When we return, French-Canadian rider Tim Tremblay prepares for another shot at making the final. Will he get the checkered flag, or will number 68 stand in his way? The Emsoil Championship Snowcross Series is brought to you by Musco Lighting. And by Traxxas.